In this video, we're going to focus on hybrid or H parameters for two port networks. Previously, we talked about Z, which is the impedance parameter, much like impedance is most of the parameters were V over I. And then we talked about admittance, which is basically one over Z or Y parameters. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to mix it up a little bit and take a look at H parameters. H parameter came about because of uh, semiconductor uh, folks who analyze and work on semiconductors and transistors. And uh, it's very well suited for that function. For here, we're going to treat him just like another set of parameters that uh, we can use to describe a two-port. Um, and the, the, the H parameters are, again, represented in a two-port two by two matrix and much like the other parameters their naming scheme is based on their location on the matrix so h11 h12 h21 and h22 um, and then um, if we want to uh, build uh, the equations much like we were thinking about uh, in this particular case um, the, on the left side of the equal sign, we will have the vector V1, I2, and that's related to I1 and V2. So once again, uh, we can basically apply matrix multiplication, and from here we get a couple of uh, um, equations that we could use uh, to figure out what the parameters are. So if we do the top equation would be v1 equal to rho 1 multiplied by the vectors h11 i1 plus h12 v2 and then we could go ahead and find get a set of equation for i2 which are h21 i1 plus h22 v2 great so as we've done before we can use these uh, these two equations and just basically either set i1 equal to zero or set v2 equal to zero which basically means we either gonna have port one uh, open or we're gonna have port two shorted so so what's gonna happen is based on uh, doing these we'll we'll be able to say okay if i if um, um, if v2 is equal to zero which basically what we are saying is that uh, sh we are shorting port 2. Great. So if you do that, that basically means these two um, um, parts of the expression go away, and then we'll end up with H11 being V1 over I1, uh, and this is ohms. It's very important to get the units right. And then we also would be able to figure out H21, and H21 obviously is going to be I2 over I1, which is amp over amp, so unitless. So it's okay. We can have some of the parameters without units. And then on the uh, second thing we could do, we could say, okay, I1 is zero, which basically we are saying that we are opening, we are open, we leave open port one. And that's fine. If you do that, then we're going to be able to find h12 as being equal to v1 over v2 and again that's units less or and then we're gonna see that h22 is gonna be equal to i2 over v1 um, I'm sorry i2 over v2 in this particular case so as you can see that's ohm that's uh, Mohs or Siemens and as you can see, this, this one, uh, up to now, like when we were doing the Z parameter and Y parameter, every parameter in the matrix had the same uh, units. In this case, that's not true. Every one of those parameters have a slightly different unit, and it's important to keep those units straight. Okay. Now that we've done this, let's go back and see if we can do an exper do a, a, a example. And I've tried to state to, with the same example throughout this, so you can see the similarity between the different approaches we are taking. So I have, a, I have an example in here. I'll just, and it's really important when you're doing these type of work to as much as possible try to um, try to redraw it for every exam, every item you're going to do. Because in this case, we have to at one point in one place we have to say, okay, um, let me go ahead and paste the. 
paste the circuit that's not what I want Actually, I'm looking to get this. I'm sure why I'm not getting it. Hmm. Delete this. Come over here. See if you can grab this. All right, so here is the circuit. And in this particular case, we're gonna go try to get the first one we're taking care of. So let's go ahead and short this side up and then try to find H11 one time, which is V1 over I1 ohms and then come back around and do the analysis for the circuit again, just with the, under the same condition to find I2 over I1. Now, when, we, when we're when we doing these things, we're basically applying all the stuff that we've learned, all the KCL, KVL rules that uh, we, have, uh, we have figured out in the past. So as you look at this, by the way, hopefully you all see that since you have a short here, this particular resistor has no impact because a short with a resistor is still a short. So I'm trying to find if I'm trying to see if I can get a relationship going between V1 and I1. That's relatively simple because if you think about it, what is this? This is the equivalent resistor as is seen from this point. So might as well just say H12, H V1 over I1 is our equivalent. And in this case, our equivalent is going to be 100 in series with 200 in parallel with 50. And so, so that makes it relatively simple. And therefore, H11 is 140. And that's done. Now, um, this one, we might have to do a little bit more work on it because it wants the ratio of I1 over I2 and I'm going to try to use norm formal tact um, to approaches, analysis approaches. There are lots of little shortcuts of applying uh, quick um, Ohm's law here and there and uh, shortcutting things. But let's be kind of a little bit more formal in this process. Let's say we come in here and we say we're going to use KVL uh, trying to find H21. So if I want to do that, then I'm going to say this is equal to I1. And then um, this... This loop is actually, if I want to do it in the same direction, that's really minus I2, if you can, you hopefully you see that. So what I could do in here, I could come back and say, great. So if that's uh, that's the case, I want to relate I1 to I2, and it's pretty straightforward. I don't, I might not even have to do I1 loop, just uh, do the I2 loop, just do uh, KVL in I2, and that should take care of it for me, I think. It's because if I do KVL and I2, or at I2, what I will end up with is 50 minus I2 plus uh, minus I1 uh, plus 200 times minus I2 equal to zero. So I've got about 200 here, I've got 50 there. So I've got minus 250 I2, and that whole thing is equal to um, 50 I1. So I'm looking for the ratio of I2 over I1. So H21, which is an I2 over I1, is gonna be equal to a minus, minus, um, 
250 on the bottom, 50 on the top, or I can say minus one fifth. Okay, great. And again, this is unitless. So we got that done. Now, the, what is left for us to do is we need to go back and be able to do the same set of work, but this time we need to find H12 and H22. Okay, so let's go ahead and again, I, I really would like, uh, would suggest that you um, redraw the circuit for every one of those uh, cases to avoid missing, um, um, you know, missing or making a mistake in the work you're doing. So in this particular case, we're going to put another one in here. And just so I remember, I'm going to just come back and copy this as well. So just to make sure I don't forget what I'm trying to do. Okay. So we have got this. And I'm, I, what I'm trying to do is find H12 and H22. So in this particular case, I have, so I'm gonna draw a line in the middle so we know what we're doing on either side. So in this particular case, I1 is open. The only thing I know is that my I1 is equal to zero. What that tells me is that the current here and here are the same thing. Whatever current is flowing, let's call this one IA to, the, to eliminate any lack of confusions here but what I'm so so if I is equal to zero I also know that the voltage here is V1 and all I'm looking for is I'm trying to find the relationship between V1 and V2 so so how would we do that um, and, and our goal basically is to um, to solve it the fastest we can using normal analysis tools we've learned you know, so far so one of the things I notice is that just, just the Ohm's law, this is basically Ohm's law that I'm applying. Um, for looking up here from an Ohm's law, I see that the V1 is simply 50 IA. That's easy enough. And then if I do a KVL at IA, you gotta remember what you're looking for. You're looking for V1 over V2. So if I'm doing that, there's no reason to get I2 involved in the process. What I could do, say, minus v2 plus 200 ia plus v1 equal to zero i already know that ia is v1 over 50 so i can plug it in here so i got minus v2 plus 200 over 50 v1 plus v1 equal to zero oh great so i got four and plus four here and four this basically reduces to four. Got five V1. So, and I'm looking for H12 V1 over V2. So, simply five, one over one over five is the answer. And the unit for this, this is unitless. Okay. Now I need to relate I2 uh, to V2. So, how we're going to do that? If you look on this direction, that's simply the resistance that is left so this is basically one over r equivalent as we're looking from port two great so we we'll see that to be got um, so h22 is basically one over r equivalent r equivalent is going to be 200 ohms is in series with the 50 ohms and they are together in parallel with 150 so <laughs> i don't know why it went up there but this is 150. So if we clean this up, we'll find out that uh, H22 is going to be 1 over AB6. So before you're done, you have to write the parameter in its matrix form. Uh, so from here, I have H22 is 1 over AB6. So let's go ahead and get that in here. From here, and then by the way, this is MOS, right? It's 1 over I over V and one two, which is up here, is unitless. So that's great. And then the other parameters we found here, H11 was 140. 140 ohms. 
and then we had minus one fifth down here which was unitless as well okay so that kind of takes us down to the end of the h parameter so let's just do a quick review of this basically this is the parameter that fully describes the, uh, the network if you want to write it in terms of an equation we can go ahead and write it as this equation right here and then this is the way we will, we will uh, we short one side open the other side and for each case we found a couple of the parameters when we were finished we got all the parameters and here was a little demo or example of how we would do that and here's our results